Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Monday, April 1st, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. Hey, listen, if you're not yet a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give the site a trial run, it's a real cool way to do it. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, and uh, you can use that free $60 on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com. Again, free $60 account, great trial run. Just click on the link to get started below this video. A big card on Monday. We've got NBA, a big seven-unit main event, rare seven-unit play in the NBA. Uh, we head into Monday on a 15-3 and three run, up about $4,000 for those wagering $100 per unit. You don't want to miss out on the big seven-unit play. We look to go to 16-3, and three, go up well over $4,000 uh, during this current run. NBA has been good to us going all the way back to January 2nd. Uh, so don't miss out. We passed on Sunday in the NBA, just didn't like the card, but we've got a big seven-unit play going on Monday. It'll be available Monday morning, DocSports.com. As far as baseball is concerned, we're 44-24 and 24 with our last 68, going back to the last couple of months of last season, up about eight grand for $100 per unit betters. And we're going to up the ante a little bit, so to speak, on Monday. Have my first four-unit play of the baseball season going on Monday slate. Uh, we've been playing three-unit plays for the most part for the first few days of the season, but we really do like a matchup both at the plate and on the mound on Monday in one particular game. And the best part about it is the value is definitely on our side. Uh, no big price to lay on this one whatsoever. So, again, first four-unit play in baseball of the new season for me goes on Monday, available Monday morning over at DocSports.com. Uh, yesterday, we ended up 2-2 two and two overall. We won in the AAF. We're now 67% on the season in the new football league. Uh, we also won in the NHL. I passed in the NBA, as mentioned, and I went 0-1 in college baskets, and we lost to NASCAR, and Denny Hamlin was just too tough to overcome. Uh, so we'll have to get back in the win column in next week's race at Bristol. Uh, that'll be on Sunday, April 7th. We should have those plays posted no later than about uh, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific on Sunday morning for Bristol. As you all know, the Final Four is set now. Michigan State laying three to Texas Tech as we speak. Uh, Virginia about a five-and-a-half point favorite over Auburn, down to five in a couple of offshores. And I'll tell you why in just a second, because there's been an overwhelming ticket count on Auburn. Uh, and also the sharp money. Uh, just looking at the different books that we use and uh, those who tell us at the different books of where the betting is as far as those who work behind the counter. We're looking at so far at a pretty heavy ticket count, pretty heavy money on the Auburn Tigers with the initial betting. And so a couple of offshores have seen that number drop from five and a half down to five. Uh, in the other game, the public leans on Michigan State and the Sharps lean on Texas Tech. We'll have updates throughout uh, this entire week on the Final Four. I'm, by the way, going to pass uh, the CBI game on Monday. It's uh, I'm not going to back the, the South Florida DePaul game. Don't like either side in that game. I guess if I absolutely had to play the game, I would lean towards South Florida. But it's a pass, absolute pass. So, all right, let's get to our free pick in baseball on Monday. Kind of a short video today. Uh, we're going to back the Angels. They're laying about $1.07 to $1.10 as I cut this video over the Oakland A's, game time, 10, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7, 10 p.m. Pacific. Listen, it's Chris Stratton scheduled to face Felix Hernandez. Those are the expected starters. We know Seattle's fresh off the beat down of the Red Sox. They're on this unexpected 5-1 and one start uh, to the 2019 season. Meanwhile, the Angel Bats couldn't come up with timely hits in three of the four against the Oakland A's. But tonight, the Angels have a chance to go up against King Felix, and boy, he sure isn't even close to what he used to be. Uh, last year, over his last 11 appearances, he went 0-8, and, and he had an ERA of about 6.34. And, uh, you know, when they played in Oak, excuse me, when they played Oakland in Japan uh, back on March 20th when that series began, before that, a couple of the days before that, King Felix wanted to be the starter again. I mean, he's been an opening day starter uh, for Seattle for a decade now. And uh, management shut him down and said, no, we're not going to do that. And at the time that they made that decision, shortly before March 20th, his ERA was over 15 in spring ball. He just doesn't have it anymore. Uh, I don't expect that he finds the sweet elixir against the Angels. Listen, the Halos, the one thing they've done, they've won seven of nine over Seattle when King Felix has been on the mound. Seven of his last nine starts against the Halos have been losses for the Seattle Mariners. So I look for this to be... Uh, the chance for the Angels uh, to be able to get those bats going, and we'll back it here, recommending to play on the Angels, uh, minus the short money line price, Stratton and Hernandez on the mound on Monday. Again, check out Monday's card, especially 
that seven-unit main event in the NBA. You know we don't have a lot of them, and uh, but we do today. And we're on that 15-3 and three Red Hot run up about $4,000 for $100 per unit betters. Go grab that on Monday along with baseball. First time we've stepped up to a four-unit play so far this baseball season. We also have the NHL. Don't forget about the $60 free account. Give DocSports.com a trial run. Click on the link below the video. Get set up for the free $60 account on Monday. You can use that on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. All right, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Uh, we appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. We'll be right back here Tuesday, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific with our next update. Best of luck on Monday.